All right, my friends, it's 8.30, so I'm going to get started because I know third grade has MCAS testing today. It's very exciting to be with you this morning. I'm going to tell you about our newest challenge in ST Math. It's called the Rainbow May Madness Challenge, and here's how it works. Rainbow May Madness is going to run starting today, May 1st, all the way through June 4th. So every Monday, I'm going to post the results of this team competition on the TV screens around the school. In just a few minutes, I'm going to tell you what team you're on. However, when I display the results on the TV screens every week, I'm going to do it by color. And every team doesn't even know what color they are. So you're going to have to continue to cheer each other on every week until I finally tell you the results on June 5th of what color each team was. So each week, there is a different winner, and it's based on the average amount of ST Math puzzles that are completed within that team. And like I said, on June 5th, I'm going to hold a live Zoom in the morning and finally tell you each team's color. So here's my goal. I'm hoping that this will encourage everyone to finish their journey and move every class to at least 80% so that we can get our school to 100%. And I have to be honest, there's another reason. Mitchell Elementary has challenged us. They think they can solve more puzzles than we can over the last month of the year. So let's make sure that that doesn't happen, okay? So I'm going to encourage teachers to give out that golden GG to your to every class that meets that puzzle goal. So remember in kindergarten and first grade, it's 40 puzzles a week. And in second grade through fifth grade, it's 60 puzzles a week. So my hope is, is that teachers will check their dashboard every Monday. And if you have the puzzle average you're supposed to have for that week, that you will give your class a golden GG. And of course, if you need help with that, Mr. Hazel can show you how to do that. To help you along the way, remember, you should be keeping track of those puzzles through your data tracker. Some of you have individual data trackers in your class, and some of you have classroom data trackers. Right now, our goal for you and your class is to be at 72% by the end of the week. So we're hoping that your class is at 72% or higher by the end of the week and that you are 70 72% or higher by the end of the week. That will be the number if you want to reach 80% by the end of the year. So if you're a little bit behind that, that's okay. You can catch up. And if you're over that, then let's just keep going because remember, we have lots of school goals to go. Don't forget, teachers, to move that GG. No on the percent progress wall right over by the cafeteria. I know that some of you are getting pretty high. So if you have to use Miss Donovan's chair in the office, go ahead and use her chair. Cause when you get to that 100%, what? remember that you get to get a new GG when he lands on the moon. Okay. Now here comes the most exciting news. The PTC has come up with an amazing incentive for us. So if we make 100% by the end of the year, they are going to get a Rita's water ice truck to pull out in front of the school and every student, every teacher, every staff member is going to be able to come outside and get a free water ice. We're going to pick a day. And from 11 to 1, so 11 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock, every class can come out and visit, and everybody gets a water ice from Rita's. So if you've never had Rita's water ice before, I can tell you it's amazing. I grew up on it in Philadelphia, and now they have one in Walpole. And the three flavors you see right there are the flavors I'm going to try to get because I think they're the best. It's cherry, 
mango and cotton candy. So you should really thank the PTC because they worked really hard to get this reward for us. If we reach, well, what do I mean? If when we reach 100%. So I'll let you know when that day comes. Okay. And now I know before we leave, you want to know what team you're on. So here are the teams for rainbow may madness. Team one is miss D Maria. Miss Tarantino, Miss Dummett, Miss Reedy, and Miss Fortin. Team two is Miss McKenna, Miss D'Angelo, Miss Hackett, Miss Oler, and Miss Roberts. Team three is Miss Michelli, Miss Everett's, Mr. Molno, Mr. Ganacanto, and Miss Andrade. Team four is Mr. Watts, Miss Audibert, Miss D.E. DeChico, Miss Shu, and Miss Faraday, and Miss Miller. And Team 5 is Miss Martinez, Miss Travia, Miss D.I. DeChico, Miss Fritch, Miss Gunning, and Miss Mahoney. Remember, you don't know what color you are, but you do know what team you are. Every week, on the TV screens, I will post the team results by color. But you don't know what color you are until June 5th. So everybody should cheer each other on and work together. I will not be keeping track on the TV screens of teachers. I'm only going to be keeping track of teams. Okay, I hope this incentive gets us to all those things we've been working for 100% for the whole school, 80% for each class and each individual student. For those of you taking MCAS today, good luck, and I'll see everybody later. Bye, guys.